Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum aspirants. This is the third video presenting the solutions to question 8 of General Science and Ability Paper 2021. So, uh, part A of question 8 was about finding the correct word from jumbled spellings. The first word was written like that. It was actually serious. The gather was actually written that way and it was actually lately that was jumbled the fourth one was the easiest it was actually marry it depends upon your vocabulary how quick you can solve it uh, this one was hurry so moving towards part B of question 8 uh, part B required us to calculate the number of triangles in given shapes. The first shape was of a triangle and uh, uh, having these line segments in it. And the first thing we need to do is to assign these labels to every point of intersection. As the shape itself is a triangle, so the first triangle is the biggest image. So it can be denoted by triangle uh, ACE. If we look closely at the image, then each segment that the lines have made is a triangle itself. So counting these six triangles uh, will make our total number of triangles found so far seven. I have indicated the triangles like this. A, B, triangle ABG means this, this segment A, B and G. This is triangle ABG. The next way to find the uh, more number of triangles is joining two triangles. We will join the triangles that are mirror image to one another. Uh, reflection of the other triangle like this. Uh, triangle GCE. We have joined two triangles to form another triangle. So tr this one is triangle GCE. The other one is triangle AGE on the right hand side. And this segment on the left hand side is triangle AGC so three more triangles we have found and the total number of triangles have become 10 so far so the other way to find more triangles is to join three triangles at a time we'll start uh, joining top triangles first uh, like this triangle ABG and triangle AFG will be joined first and then we'll join another shape to find it uh, make it make it a triangle so with triangle ABG uh, we have a uh, joint triangle GEF and the uh, total uh, these three figures formed another triangle which can be named as triangle ABE similarly joining these three figures will form triangle BCE so the total number of triangles have become 12 Repeating the same step, but this time instead of top bottom from the bottom top. First, we will join these two triangles first and joining this third triangle in it will give us a new triangle uh, whose dimensions will be F E F C E. Similarly, the upper portion will form another triangle, which will be triangle A C F. So the total number of triangles have become. 14 so there is only one we left uh, that uh, we haven't divided the figures uh, the line segment which is in the middle uh, left and right so joining three figures on the left will give us triangle ACD and joining three uh, uh, figures on the right will give us triangle ADE so the total number of triangles in this figure were 16 so 16 was the right answer Moving forward to the next image, it was uh, a star having a pentagon in the center. So if we look at the corners of the triangle, of the star, pardon me. So every corner is a triangle itself. So five tri triangles, five corners represent five triangles. Next, 
we will start uh, joining other um, segments with the with each and every corner of the star to find how many other triangles are there so this pentagon must be joined first with the top corner and one way is to join this leg to form a, to give it a to give it the shape of a triangle and secondly we can move this way to find another triangle so we have found two more triangles starting from the top corner so moving towards the right corner first we will join the pentagon in it and we can move this way and this uh, we both of these corner will form two more triangles one this and the second one this so the total number of triangles have become nine and uh, we have also formed the triangles by right corner so moving to the next corner first we will join the pentagon in it and this triangle we can form joining this corner in it and the total number of triangles have become 10 again starting from it but this top corner cannot be joined in it because if we join this corner again it will be a duplication because triangles formed by this corner have already been considered by us so we are out of our options so these were the maximum number of triangles that could have been formed uh, because if we move forward we will be utilizing the corners that we have already considered to form the triangles so 10 was the right answer for this question let us now move to part c of the question it uh, it required us to calculate the perimeter and area of a given shape so this was the given shape uh, from the uh, appearance of the from the geometry of the shape this segment looks like a square this is a triangle and this segment is also a square we know that all the sides of the square are equal if this line is equal to 20 centimeter then all of the other segments will also be 12 centimeter now this is a triangle and we have been given its hypotenuse in the question we have just find out what it is it's perpendicular and by applying the Pythagoras theorem we can uh, calculate the base of this triangle so working one will be finding the base of the triangle we know the formula uh, hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square we need to calculate base so rearranging the terms it will become uh, x square is equal to 15 square minus 12 square so solving for x x is equal to uh, x square is equal to 81 and its root will be 9 we will ignore the negative root x uh, under root of 81 is plus 9 and minus 9 both but we will ignore the negative root because we are uh, referring to the length which is positive so the base of the triangle is 9 centimeter and according to the geometry of this shape uh, it appears to be a square so all the other sides of this shape will also be 9 centimeter so we have reached a, to a point where we can calculate the perimeter and area of the shape so the perimeter of a shape is actually its boundary starting from here the perimeter is the total of uh, its sides so 12 plus 12 plus 12 so, so working for the perimeter will be we'll be adding 12 three times here and 9 three times so we will reach there 3 times 9 and finally the hypotenuse of this triangle will complete the calculation of the perimeter so adding all of these numbers gives us 78 so the perimeter of the given shape is 78 centimeter now let us calculate the area of this given shape the area of the square is any side square we know that actually it is length into width and length 
and width of a square is always equal so it will be 12 multiplied by 12 which is 144 similarly the area of the second square will be 9 square or 9 multiplied by 9 and the area of the triangle will be actually area of a triangle is uh, area of a rectangle cut into half cut into half by this line so it will be length into width 9 into 12 which is the base and perpendicular of the triangle divided by 2 to cut into half so the result is 54 so adding all of the uh, areas 144 81 and 54 the total is 279 centimeter square the area uh, the unit of area is centimeter square so this was the required solution the area of the shape is 279 centimeter square and the perimeter is 78 centimeters let us now move to part d of the question uh, we were required to find the missing numbers of a given series the first sequence was this 418 the third term we have to calculate 100 180 and 294 let us analyze the difference between the terms so the difference that we will calculate is that the difference between the second and the first is 14 the difference of the third and second fourth and third we cannot calculate due to the missing number and the difference for the last two terms is 80 and 114 so the difference is not a common difference there is not a fixed or a constant number that can be added or subtracted to find the sequence so this is not an arithmetic sequence the difference also is not a common ratio it is not uh, the next term cannot be obtained by multiplying a constant by the preceding number so the sequence is also not a geometric one so we will check either they are cubic or square numbers 2 square is 4 but 3 square is not 18 similarly 4 is not a cube of any number so this is also not an option the numbers are neither cubic nor square so we will check whether they are the difference of cube and square because the difference is increasing greatly as we see that the difference uh, of the second and first was 14 but is increased drastically to 80 and then 114 so it must be the difference between cube and square so difference of 2 cube and 2 square is 8 minus 4 3 cube and 3 square is 27 minus 9 similarly the difference of 4 cube uh, with 4 square is 64 minus 16 the resultant numbers are 4 which is our first term 18 which is our second term third term we have to calculate 100 180 and 294 exactly matches the given sequence so 48 was the required missing number the next sequence was this one four term we were given and we were required to find out the fifth one analyzing the difference the difference is not a constant one it is not a common difference so it is not an arithmetic sequence but the different does show a common pattern the difference is doubling itself the uh, difference of first two term was 16 Th that the difference of third and second was 32 and in increased to 64 so it is showing a common pattern that the difference is doubling itself so what will be the difference of fifth and fourth term it will be 128 so if the first number was 15 adding the difference in it gave us 31 which is the second term adding the next uh, difference double of the previous one in 31 gave us 63 adding 64 in 63 gave us 127 and adding 128 the double of 64 in 127 will give us 225 so 225 was the required missing number moving forward to the next series five numbers in a sequence are given and we are required to find out the sixth term 
analyzing the difference is not going to help us there is no common difference the difference is increasing drastically and there is no common ratio so the third option is whether they are cubic or square numbers they are not square as square 8 is not a square of any number so we will analyze whether they are cubic numbers so 1 raised to the power anything is 1 so 1 cube will be 1 even the 1 raised to the power 0 is 1 2 raised to the power 3 is 8 3 raised to the power 3 is 27 similarly 4 raised to the power 3 is 64 so solving the given series 6 raised to the power after 5 comes 6 and 6 cube is 216 so previous numbers match the given series so the required number 6 term was 216 the next sequence third is the missing number first thing we have to analyze the difference so the difference of second and first was 24 and difference of last and the preceding term is 30 so the difference is not constant but is it showing any pattern yes it is showing any this pattern that the difference has increased by 6 for the 6th term for the 5th term sorry so the difference increased after two terms were six so the difference for these two terms will be plus two and plus four respectively so if 132 was the first number adding 24 in it gave us 156 which is our second term so adding 24 plus 2 in 156 gave us 182 and adding 182 with the dif difference plus 4 gave us 210 which is our fourth term and adding and repeating this one more time results in the same number that is in the sequence so 182 was the required number the last one if we have been given six terms and seventh is to be found if we have given that much numbers it means that this could have been a alternate or a mixed sequence analyzing the difference the difference is changing its sign and it's not common so it's not an arithmetic sequence the difference is changing the sign fun time and on the other hand it is doubling on alternate terms from this term from third to fourth it doubled itself and changed its sign and after some mathematical operation the difference again doubled itself so the sequence is showing the pattern that it is doubling one time which is being multiplied and it is divided uh, the other time so that it is reduced and the resultant difference is negative so by what number it is being multiplied by what number it is being divided so we have to uh, do some hit and trial and after mm, uh, repeating it two to three times we found out that it is being multiplied by three and divided by two it eight was the first term multiplying it by three gave us 24 and reducing 24 by half gave us 12 multiplying 12 by 3 gave us 36 and dividing 36 by 2 resulted in 18 repeating the same two steps now it is the time that 54 will be divided by 2 so it results in 27 and 27 was our missing number that was required to be found that was all from my side thank you very much uh, uh, for watching uh, if you like the videos and you don't want to miss any future coming video I would like to request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.